Yeah, my nigga. So, so I wanted to find out from you who you think the biggest. So if we're only listening to international artists, mm-hmm. do we have SA hip hop artists? Not even hip hop, just SA artists who are on an international level. International level. Like they can compete on those charts that we were looking at just now. Well, really I dope. think I think the charts the charts don't elevate you to an international level. You know? They do though a little bit. Nah, they don't. Why not? Most mo- most most of the artists Greetings, all massive and crew. <laughs> Bashment youth. I mean, I'm Rashid K, the original article done alongside me, little youth. Oh, yes. geez. <laughs> <laughs> what a do, King? What's up? What's what up? What up? So I'm back at it like crack at it. One and only OG. Hang with the one and only. Head nigga in charge. You Big shout out. You already know. You My Rastafari know. brother. You don't know, sir. What's happening? Like, what, like are, are you Rasta? Though? I'm not a Rasta. I'm not a Rasta. I saw you post. There's no language called Rasta. I'm what just speaking Patois. Patois. Yeah. I saw you post uh, a video. Was it on, on Twitter or some shit? Where you, where you posted a, a video of a pasta who was... Who was singing, but in, oh, in yeah, Jamaican, yeah, on Twitter, yeah, but like yeah. praising God, yeah, using patois. Mm. That's crazy, dog. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe people actually do that. How oh, they do that? That's wild. How are you gonna praise the Lord in patois? Hey, yo, Clyde, no, because that's, that's the language they speak. What, what? do you expect? Well, how, like, how, what? It's like it's like you you, you being shocked that the ZCC preaches in Sepedi. No, it's not the same. It is the same. It is but the patois same. is like, you know, when I think patois and I think, I think Bob Marley, I think, you know. No. Kung, 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 it's like, it, what, what you're saying is like, um, when, 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 I, when I hear Zulu, I think Maskandi. That's what you say. No, that's not true, Rashid. Why are you making it so deep? Yeah, up? yeah. No, no, that's what you say. <laughs> when I hear patois, I think Bob Marley. Okay, when I hear Zulu, I think Maskandi. That's exactly what you're saying. I guess someone in the Caribbean would say that, you know. Mm. But that, I'm that, that, that's some ignorant shit, though. It's not, nigga. It's, it is. I'm from here. It is. It's not the same. Mm. Someone from the Caribbean can think when they hear patois and they hear Zulu. But it's and a language. They it's, think it's, it's the language that people speak in that country. That's in what that I'm saying. Country. So for me, in and South in Africa, that country, if they speak that language, they're gonna sing in that language. In church, they're gonna preach in that it's language. It's fair for me to think that that's different, and it's weird for me. Mm. The same way someone in the Caribbean would think preaching in, in, in Zulu is weird for them. That's not, that's not weird. For them, dog. That's not weird. What do you mean you can't tell me someone in the Caribbean is listening to uh, Pastor Masombuko rapping in Isuzulu and thinking that it's, it sounds normal? It doesn't. But it's, 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 it's just there, another if, language. It's if there's just a another pastor language. rapping in Patois, mm-hmm. it, sounds, it sounds too cool. It sounds too cool. Mm-hmm. Like it, it, you can't mention the Bible in the same context as <laughs> and, mm. you can't in, in the same context as reggae music, dog. Like reggae and and, and Christianity is like uh, it, it's the thing is that's why I'm saying it's some ignorant shit. Cause when you hear patwa, what you know about Jamaica or the Caribbean mm. when it comes to music, it's reggae only. It's like when you hear. Uh, uh, my, my, my brother from Nigeria and then you think of Afrobeat because that's the only music you know from Nigeria Word. when there's like 10 other genres that's why I'm saying it's some ignorant shit but if you knew your shit you wouldn't be why Why would it be ignorant because that's just what it is dog like, it's not what it is it's no not, okay. it take- let, let, let me tell you let me tell you um, in, in, in Jamaica when it comes to music there's reggae there's Calypso, there's Soka, from, from a nigga who knows. Gotcha. You know? And from, from a nigga who doesn't know, who's ignorant, only knows reggae. That's what I'm saying. But that's, that's fair. Like, you can't blame me for that. It's not like I live I'm in the Caribbean. I'm not blaming you for being ignorant. I'm telling you it's what you are. It's not ignorance. It's what it it's, is. Ignorance is different. Ignorance mm. is when I know that that's what it is, but then I act like I don't. That's ignorance. 
But for me to be like, I live in South Africa. No, I do not know what no, happens in Jamaica. It, 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 That's it, not ignorance. It, ignorant, ignorant is knowing so little and don't draw a conclusion out of it. Or he speaks like this, oh, it's reggae. That's ignorance. No, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> that is not true, my nigga. Okay, let's move but on. Fair, that's fair. <laughs> what up, son? You good? What's good? What's good? What's good? I feel you. I feel you, man. Could what did he, he think? Peak? What did he think? What did he think of? Um, sorry to cut you. Word. Of that big Zulu boxing match. It was one round, right? Yeah. It was a one. It was, it was a quickie. First, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Polish. Uh. It's crazy because I knew about the fight, nah? mm-hmm. maybe a couple of weeks before the fight, which was this past week, right? Yeah, yeah. And I'm surprised it didn't get any push and any hype because when the fight happened, I had no idea that the fight was happening. You know what I mean? I found out mm-hmm. about the fight on the day when I was watching people on live and on social media. I'm like, mm. oh, Big Zulu is actually fighting someone. I saw the advert with, okay, Yeah, it's going to But fight. like, there was no, it wasn't like the Casper... Yeah. Family tree vibe where it was like, okay, we know these guys are gonna get to it. Mm. So for me, it was it was cool to see, but I just felt like, yo, hey, they left us out, done. And mm. hey, they left us out. I don't know. Were you there? No, no, I didn't go. But I knew about it. You knew it was happening. Yeah, I Why knew. Did you t- I, didn't... I I knew I knew it was happening. What did you think? I'm I'm not a big boxing fan. Why? I go to soccer matches when when we play soccer when there's hip hop. Versus Maskande or whatever, I go. Because I, I love and enjoy soccer. I do basketball games. Facts. Yeah. Seen Yo, we need to bring those back, by the way. Yeah. What do you think of the fight? <sighs> hey, man, it was... Fuck. It was horrible. <laughs> it was trash? <laughs> Why? Why you say that, Doug? Yeah. I feel like the promo was whack. There was no promo around it. Like, yo, you should have created a hype. Big Zulu's fighting? I had no idea. Yeah. I, I I don't think both of them were ready. You know, like, both of them can't fight. But also, we only saw the videos. So. There's a full video of the whole fight. It's not like it's long. It's it's one round. Facts. But, like, can we really comment on it? Because, like, we didn't see... I don't, I don't know. You, you comment about stuff you see on TV all the time. True, true, true. I mean, for me, it, it was a fight. Like, it's not the fight I want to see. I don't think. I don't, yeah. Who was he fighting? I don't know the guy he was fighting. Imagine that. Yeah. Wasn't he a Maskandi cat? I don't know him. Never heard of him. Do you think it was a setup? Like they. You think, just, you think he was, it was like he, he was bought? He, he was bought. He's he's he your friend. Fight. He's your friend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so was he bought? I, I was not part of that organization. For, for this? For this, yeah. Yeah, so they left you out of this one. Because they knew you were going to say fuck that shit. No, I'm not. I'm not. Me and Big Zulu, I'm not, we're not working together. We're just friends. Mm. You know, whatever he does, it doesn't have to inform me. I feel you. I feel mm-hmm. you. So for you, it doesn't matter if he fought or not. Do you want to see the Casper fight? That's two hip-hop cats, right? Casper and, and, and Zulu. Yeah, but I think Casper is too good now, you know? B- Big Zulu will need, like, two, three more fights before he can face Casper. Did he, so when you saw that, when you because he knocked him out. Didn't he knock him out? He, he knocked that he, other he, nigga he out. He did. It's crazy that we don't know his name, man. We need someone to help us with that. Yeah. Can Trippy, if you find it, please please put it at the bottom there. Because to respect to him as well for getting in the ring. Yeah. But you're saying from watching Zulu fight there, he didn't look like someone who can beat Casper. Yeah. I think he, he, he needs more preparation. Two or three more fights, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a Zulu jam. Nah, nah, never that. Never I mean, that. Yeah, never that. Me, I'm not a fighter. I'm not even saying I can get in the ring, no. But from my observation, I think there's, there's more work to be done. Damn, okay. All right, shout out to Big Zulu. That was one thing that happened this week. Yeah. Anything else you saw that was uh, on your mind that got to you? Pissed you off? Nah. Hmm? Pissed me off? Hmm. Nah, nah, never that. Um, yeah. Basically, that that's that. That's that. Are you not upset at the fact that we're into May now? You know? Mm-hmm. April, May, end of April. And 
Still no new hit hip hop single. Who's on the charts? We spoke about uh, was it Big Zulu earlier. Uh huh. Uh huh. About radio charts, right? Yes, radio charts. Said there, I saw it's still on there, and not the remix. We spoke about that. that they, yeah, the original. The original. Mm. Right? So fuck the remix, first of all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and there's nothing else after that, Doug. There's nothing. Who's got a hip hop song that's on the charts? Who's radio monitoring right now that you've noticed? I haven't seen nobody. Have you? I haven't seen nobody. Doug. Who's on? I don't know. I'm, are, I'm, I'm are you checking out the charts? Check. Yeah, I'm trying to check here. Yeah. The crazy thing for, for me is that like we're halfway. Well, a quarter of the way through the mm. year. And by now, in, in the usual scale of things, I think we always have a single that's fire. By now. That we know it's okay in Tuana. This one will carry us through the season in terms okay, of yes, going yes, for, for the past week, I have um, radio monitor, the charts. And there's nothing hip-hop, right? Set is there, for sure. So, yeah, set is number five. Yeah, I saw them this week. It's Miley Cyrus, Rayma, The Weeknd, Pink, then KO. Mm. That's fucking And then uh, we have AKA Company, number eight. Do you think it's a fire song? What, Company? Yeah. yeah. I do. What do you mean, like hit single? Yes. Top five AKA songs? No. Okay. Yeah, on the South African charts... You Not only just have this two radio one. charts too. Ra- yeah, this yeah. is radio charts. This right? is radio charts. Yeah, it can't be South African charts. That makes it different. That, no, it's 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 the radio charts in South Africa. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, but you only have two South African songs. That's crazy. On What's the that top one? ten, no, on the top ten, you have two South African songs, eight international. So it's only twenty percent, eighty percent international. Are you telling me the piano guys are not on there either? Not on the top 10. Probably on the top 50 That's or top crazy. 100. Yeah. Not even the piano niggas are no, on the top there's 10. No, there's no piano nigga. This is, this is from which week, dog? This, this, from, from Friday, um, no, no, no. From Friday, from Thursday, the other week to Friday. Because that's how um, Radio Monitor works. There's only two it South African songs Friday on to Thursday. the charts. Yeah, there's only two South African songs. What does that say about the first quarter of SA music? It's, uh, it says, it says, Do you South, want Africans, me to say it? South Africans love American music. <laughs> that is a good point. Mm. That is a very good point. But also, no one's dropping anything that's appealing to South African Years, in terms of the hip hop, I'm not gonna speak for piano because I think piano moves on its own. On on, it has nothing to do with radio, right? Yeah. But on the radio sphere is is that in the commercial space because radio is commercial, mm-hmm. nothing appeals to South Africans that comes from South Africa. People want to hear Drake and they want to hear Miley Cyrus and you know, but they don't want to hear. A new KO joint that drop that drop. But I see. I'm I'm looking at the charts on on on, on iTunes. I say hip hop is doing well. Okay, but it's talk the, to it's, me. it's it's the old albums. That's crazy. So yeah, me. number one, it's um, the Notorious B.I.G. Greatest Hits. Number two, it's A.K.A. Levels. Number three, it's Questa Dakar Two. Number three, is Strings and Blinks. Crazy. And, and that's to see. It's it's like old albums, bro. The Carters, Jay Z, and Beyonce, and then there's Mlaz Milano. Okay, Malum Cool Kid, still an old album. But these are most downloaded of what iTunes? Yes. So you see, South Africans love American music. So what do we do with that with that piece of information? You know, as the master class. I'm saying, I'm saying. What do you do with that piece of I'm, information? I'm saying it's people always complain about radio. Eh, you don't play us. You don't play us. You play American. But even the listeners, the fans, they don't buy us. They buy American. Why is that? When you check, when you check Spotify and iTunes, you can see that the people who are complaining about American music are the buyers of American music. 
Is it because maybe we're dropping music that sounds American that's just not on the same level? Or are we just dropping music that doesn't appeal to us? The, the music that appeals to us would maybe be piano and house, but like the hip hop mm-hmm. generally is not, just not connecting at the moment. I mean, it's April, dog. It's April. May. It's May. Basically. Like, yeah. we don't have a hip hop song that we're all fucking with at the moment. We over said that. It's the only song that's hip hop that's on the charts. Yeah. Company has been out since Fab. The, 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 the metros, the metros are now. coming up soon. You know? Yeah, next weekend. The metros are coming up soon. Mm. Does that shit even matter right now for hip hop? Forget for about you? for hip hop. Well, there's a hip hop category. There is, there is. Yeah, and, and, but and I don't know if you can pull it up, but like for people who are nominated there, it's it, it became it's, hip hop right now has become just a category in the space that we're in because I just feel like we're not consuming it the way we used to. And that might be a, an attribute to the fact that it's how people make it now. Mm-hmm. How people make the hip hop, the music, or rap, if you want to say it like that. It's just not the same anymore. And now it's also caused it to be a non-factor in things like the Metro Awards. No one cares about. People actually are more worried about who has Song of the Year and they know it's not going to be hip hop. Said they might surprise you. They will never win it. We'll talk on... on Let's put some money on it. Who else is nominated? Let's put some money I on it. I don't know who let's, else. Let's, I, can, let's, I, I it's can't the put, class, right? Let's put some money yeah, on Yeah, I can't put some money on somebody I don't know. Who else is nominated? I know Say, Saturday is there. Clark, you're on your phone, right? I'm live right now, by the way. So when, you, when we're shooting, you can catch us live. At your OG underscore Samke. Check us out. <laughs> So no, I'm ch- I'm checking the charts on iTunes, like across all genres. Okay. I don't before see, we get to the metros. Yeah, before we get to the metros, I don't see any piano. I don't see any. Okay, this must be South African. I don't see any South African music. This Republic Fund South Africa must be from. Oh, that's Karen Zoid. Oh, yeah, South Charles Africa. Charles You know? Legend. Legend. These are the charts like across all genres. Sharp. And you're still not seeing SA Hip Hop there. Where you at? Not, 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 not just SA Hip Hop. I don't see piano. I don't see SA, SA music. So where I'm are we? I'm, I'm on Damn. number 20. That's crazy. You're actually making me feel bad now. I've been trashing homies Gun TV. They're not even looking at us. Nah. That's wild, Sheed. That's wild. Where you at now? 50? Um, 40. That's crazy, because that would say a lot about who's the biggest artist in our country. You know? Yeah. Who is the biggest artist in our country? Karen Zoid. Not Black Coffee? I don't know. I haven't seen I haven't seen Ah, Karen Zoid is scrolling. not like... Who, who knows Karen Zoid? You know Karen Zoid? I never heard of Karen. No. <laughs> Karen Zoid. Who's that, Doug? Was she Afrikaans? And, yeah, Afrikaans. Then I see Mlindo, the vocalist, on number 72. Nah, your stats is fucked up. I won't even lie to you. It's I not like, mine. Why, why are you saying your stats? Nah, where are you? <laughs> what are you? I'm Wik- here. Wikipedia. Charts. Look. Nah, cuz. This is the charts, the genres. Nah, can, leave them. Here, you can, you can choose the genres. I was going through all genres. We can, if you want hip hop, you can come here. One pop, you can ha- come here. Dance, you can come here. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna check them out on my own. You must check them out. You also check them but, out there. But, uh, Be part of the class. Be part of the master but class. But we, long story short. Yeah, my nigga. So, so I wanted to find out from you who you think the biggest. So, if we're only listening to international artists, mm-hmm. do we have essay hip hop? Artists, not even hip hop, just essay artists who are on an international level. International level, like they can compete on those charts that we were looking at just now. Well, really I think I think the charts the charts don't elevate you to an international level. You know they do though a little bit. Nah, they don't. Why not? Most mo- most most of the artists. Locally in South Africa, 
have higher numbers than black coffee. They they probably sell more than black coffee, but they cannot sell out Madison Square Garden on an international stage. Hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. So you can have you can have the numbers like like I was saying before, the market nationally and internationally is different. You know, for example, Wizkid is the biggest artist in Nigeria. But outside of Nigeria, Burna Boy is bigger. So the, the, it's, it's different. You okay. know, these are facts. The, the, these are facts. Mm-hmm. So the whole world the, um, knows about black coffee. Yeah, they probably don't know about the biggest artist in South Africa. So now, does that make Black Coffee then the biggest artist internationally? Is what I'm asking. Because yeah. it doesn't matter if they know. No, I'm saying I'm OG saying. I'm, I'm Africa. saying I'm saying what I'm saying is. You can be big nationally, but not internationally, and you can be big internationally, but not nationally or yeah, locally. Yeah, 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 like a like a like a Muzi. You know, Moonchild. Mm-hmm. A lot of people are big outside the country who are not big here. Yeah. Right? And then you get niggas who are big here, but not big outside. And, yeah, and it ends here. Yeah. What would you think is more important? What's, what's, is it better to be big in South Africa or is it better to be big in the world? Not even in the world, but like just internationally. In I, think, I think it's nice and sweet to be big at home. But financially, internationally, <laughs> big. Makes sense. Makes dog. sense, yeah. yeah. Like, know? fuck being big in Timbisa, dog. That shit don't pay for shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's better to be big in New York. Yeah. You know what I mean? If I'm the Cause, hottest hip hop nigga in New York, that, 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 that will, that, that I will, don't care if you don't know me, That Rashid. will translate to currency. Being big outside will translate to currency. I feel you, my dog. Yeah. I'm with you. Where, nah? Where would you be? Rather big here, ne? Nah? You'd rather be big in South Africa. If you were it's, like it's, a full-on artist and this wasn't a hobby for you. You'd rather be big here. It's like Yes, place. but, but uh, that shouldn't be the limit. I'm saying it's nice and sweet to be big at home, but it shouldn't be the limit. Yeah. Where do you think the path is, right? I don't think we've spoken about this before. Mm-hmm. Where do you think the pathway is? For South African hip hop artists, let's talk hip hop right now, right? Yeah. From young and old, you see niggas try to go to the states, try to go to different countries to p- push this hip hop thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What do you think is the best pathway right now? Is it better because the, we just saw Uncle Waffles dancing with Sierra, right? Yeah. Is it better right now to be in South Africa doing your thing, or to just branch out like Nasty and and all these other homies are trying to do? But they started here. Sure, sure. Yeah. But it doesn't matter that they started here. Like, fine. Casper did one of the best performances I've ever seen. One of. It's mm. in my top five ever. Was when he did uh, Munatim Pulai at Global Citizen with Beyonce and Jay-Z about to perform. He yeah. opened for them, right? Mm-hmm. But that was big here. But the rest of the world doesn't know about it, right? Is it better for him? Because we, we fuck with him. Sure, we pay mm-hmm. 300 bucks for a ticket. Yeah, yeah. But would he not want that success of that global success? You know what I mean? Like, what is I'm better? Sure, I'm sure he had that in mind because, like, the international community was watching that show. That was the best platform for him to 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 sell himself to the world, and he did exactly that. He did. Yeah, he sold himself, but then to a point where it's still like, okay, but we still fuck with him more here. Than they do internationally. Yeah, you know what I mean. I don't know if this is facts, but like from what I've seen, my observation is that Casper's bigger in South Africa. Yeah, than he, he is. is he is. Else. You can tell. You can. He, yeah, he can sell anything. He can sell alcohol. He can sell shoes. He can sell clothes. He can sell music. That's but how then, big he is. Sure. Yeah. Goes on, mm. Then you get like a Moonchild, who's written songs for Bupi and say, and like she's moved and she's big in other countries. Yeah. Where here she doesn't get the recognition. My question to you then is like, what do you feel is better for the artist, for the young guy watching right now on the masterclass, who's like, yo, I know I want my hood to fuck with me, and they already do, 
But I also want to move to the States and I want to be a rapper and make music with Future and them. Like, what's better for him? Should he just keep rocking here and make a shitload of money? You know what I mean? Which he can. If mm-hmm. he's really dope, he yeah. can make buckets, you know? But if he goes international, he might have to struggle. The thing is, with, with, it's, it's different with, with local market and international market, you know? You can't bullshit us here. You know, but you can you can take, for example, you can take a bullshit artist. You can't lie to niggas in Zanzibar. Yeah, yeah. You, you, here you can take a bullshit artist and sell it to Europe. It's gonna be wow, amazing, something different. We've never seen this before. Something that we hear every day, and we know who's better. True. You, you know what I'm saying? So the markets are different. Just because you're big over there, it doesn't mean you're doing some amazing shit. Does it mean you're dope, though? That's the question, right? Yeah. Because if I'm big in Ireland, mm-hmm. fuck what, what you guys have to say in Kuruma and thought. Yeah, because, because now it's, it's all about the bottom line. Because you Kuruma niggas ain't, ain't putting bread on my table. Exactly. So, like, yeah. does that not make me bigger than your best Kuruma rapper? Let's put it this way in context. Mm-hmm. If I... Yeah, we're talking about if up and coming artist wants to go overseas or wherever. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Best pathway to do that. Yes, thank you, Sheed. Fuck. Yeah. The best pathway to get yourself on an international level. Like what do you do? Do you make good music here and just try to push it gutter? Or do you go that side and push your music that side? I don't think you don't have to go anywhere. It's just the internet is there, you know. If if Drake can see your clip and repost um, Uncle Waffles, then it blows up. Like, hey, who's this Uncle Waffles? You know, we have the we we need to abuse the internet. True. You know, if if you, you got good content, sooner or later it's gonna catch fire. True, bro. Isn't it crazy though that someone like an Uncle Waffles? Uh, before we get into class, let's get into class, but. I just wanted us to comment on waffles mm-hmm. in the sense that I know niggas that have been DJing for over 20 years. Yeah. Ain't none of them got to Coachella. This honey the thing, been the doing thing this is, for a year the thing is, The thing is, um, I know it's going to lead to our topic, the star power. Word. You know, she, she, she blew up and trended the first time she appeared, before even international, locally. Like, hey. Did you know about her before she blew up? Did you know about her? I, I, the, 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 the clip that went viral, yeah. the G-string. Yeah. That's the, uh, uh, before that? Fuck on. No, I didn't know about her. Fuck on. You know, so it took one clip for her to, to, to blow up. That's crazy. Yeah. And then you have people that have been working on this craft for many years, my nigga. Still are not on the That's level the where they can thing. do uh, a... Uh, uh, a TikTok challenge of their own song with Sierra. You know what I mean? It, it, it boils down to star power as we take it to the class. Yeah, man. Let's get into class, Trippy. It's been a long road to the class today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a journey is what they like to call it. Yo, uh, star power. Yeah. You think Waffles got star power? Of course, it, she does. Okay. What is, what is star power for you? Star power is is it's just an aura, you know. It's it's, it's an aura when you enter the room, everybody pays attention, you know. I've seen that with people, like without saying anything, you know. They command that respect. They get their attention. They have that aura, mm. you know. If it, even if you don't know them, like, hey, who's this guy? Who's that girl? You know, because they have that, you can you can feel the star quality. You can feel it, man. Yeah. I've, I've I've been through that experience before. Yeah, you know, and the one person, and I have to bring this example up, especially in the master class for me. You know, forget about everything else around this person, but the day I met Kelly Kumalu, mm-hmm. like she walked into the room, right? If she walked in here right now to the Franklin, we would all stop and look at her. Yeah. You know what I mean? She had that aura of what you call star quality. Yeah. 
I just feel like I don't even know what it's called. I just it's 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 a drawing quality to someone you can see has that mm-hmm. thing, man. Yeah. Chenese Kwa. Yeah. I've seen that. I've seen that with Casper. Casper has Casper? star quality. For real. Like when he pulls up, you when, can wait when he pulls up, like you can't ignore him. Even 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 you say this, right? Even yeah. though you've known him before he was a star. Yeah. So before he was a star and you were at the same place as Casper, you could feel it. I could I could feel this I could got feel it. yeah. Even Big Zulu, same thing. Yeah, yeah. He's got that that, that star quality. I'm gonna make it one day. Yeah, you you, you know what I mean? Yeah, you AKA can see you Mega. can see you can see rappers. Quest rappers, rappers, you can tell that this rapper is doper than this rapper. But Bye. this rapper is a star. Yeah, got you. Yeah, got you. Mm. That's crazy because now I want to bring in my Sotra Cypher niggas. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> you look at the boys, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, niggas that were in the game full clip days. Mm-hmm. You know, Bo Sia, Shazi, you know, Bo. All these niggas, man, from Tembisa, all the, the homies so that were killing it. Nikki yeah. M and them. Mm. You look at them, you're like, okay, I know you're a dope rapper. Mm-hmm. And then you look at a nigga like, Questa, and like I know you're a dope rapper, but you also have the star quality. Yeah, you have you have the command, that aura. Yeah. Why do you think the the best niggas that are dope at what they do don't have the squad star quality? Because we know niggas that are better than Questa when it comes to a cipher. Yeah. We know niggas that will body Questa any type. No disrespect to my homie Questa, right? Mm-hmm. I'm sure he can hold his own down. Yeah. But I know a couple of hyenas that I can bring to you and be like, yo. Go up against this dude, and I know he's in a party. Yeah, but he just doesn't have your star quality. Why do you think that is? I, I don't know. I think you're born with it. Whether you were you had decided to play soccer, you'd be a star. You know what I'm saying? That the the best players in the world today or this season are not commanding attention as Messi and Ronaldo. They're not doing well. I'm saying that, that the Haaland, all the, the, the top players yeah. right now are not commanding attention like Messi and Ronaldo. I get you. They just don't have that. They don't have that star also, quality. Do we care still, you know what I mean? Or maybe because we've seen Messi and Ronaldo, we feel like, ah, man, who can do better? Even though there's niggas that are statistically are moving towards that. Even Mbappe right now. Mbappe has got crazy stats, right? Yeah. But we're still not looking at him. We still don't think he's better than Messi. We or still Ronaldo. don't, yeah. You know what I mean? Even though the stats might prove it. This guy scored a hat-trick in the final of the World Cup. But we still the, don't the, think he's better than Messi or Ronaldo. That, that's longevity. Because there are players who are hot for a season. These guys ha- have been hot only time for, 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 for over 15 years. Mm. You know, for 15 years in a row, Messi has scored more than 20 goals in every season. Which makes sense. Yeah. Why? 15 years. Like, N- now you're going to, you're going to, you're going to. Mbappe, we can't compare, no? Yeah, four seasons. You can't compare. And he hasn't done that. And you're going to, no. So how do you, how do you bring that back to music? How do you bring that back to music? You know? But okay. it's, it's, it's the same. It's the same. Um, that star quality ne- needs to be backed up by talent. But now, if, if you have both, if you have the star quality and talent, you're gone. Okay, but now, doesn't star quality come with time, right? Because, yes, we can think Blackie's a star today, right? And shout out to Blackie, he's been doing crazy things. You know what I mean? I fuck with him. Yeah. But, what if Blackie falls off tomorrow? Did he have star quality then? Can we say he was a, he was a star in his time? Because star quality for me is Messi and Ronaldo. Yeah. Like, you got to be hot. Prahu, hot. Lady Smith, black, hot. Yeah. Meg, hot. You know, hot. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a lot of people that have just been elevating the star quality. Yeah. But, but now... Okay, we, let, me, let, me, let me make you an example. You know what I mean? Um, Will Smith, star quality. Raps, wins Grammys, and then he acts. Movies, he's still a star. He's still he's a still, star. He still has that thing. If, if music doesn't, 
Blackie's music doesn't appeal anymore and he decides to play soccer or to act, if he has the star quality, it's going to show. Really? Yeah. But now, don't we attribute star quality to your profession, to what you do? So, Rashid is a star because he does SA Hip Hop Awards, Back to the City, One Mic, Masterclass, Radio. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that's what makes you a star. So, if you're no longer good at that, can we still call you a star? Do you still have star quality if you go from rapping to making movies? Maybe you have you have a star quality, but you're no longer a star. Okay, hold up, hold up. In the field that you that specific field. Okay, let me let, let me let me ask you a question right now. Currently, would you say Zola has star quality or he's a star? Oh, it's a good question. I think both. Right now. Right now. Yeah. Yeah, today. Uh, yeah, I'm not talking about Umzluembe back then. Yes. I'm talking about right now as I'm I think, talking to I you. I think because 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 we know Zola, mm-hmm. he can do it today mm-hmm. because he's a star. Mm-hmm. And he has star quality in him being a star. He's, he's shown us that he's a star. Yeah. And through that, we know that at any time, throw throw a stick at him. He's going to dodge it because he's got the star quality to, to dodge a stick. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, he's that guy. Like, we know he's got the talent. Maybe that's what we go to then. Yeah. Because star quality then goes with your talent. Yes. That's what I, that, I wanted you to answer the black question. We can say hmm. the same thing. Because now we, we only know him talented in the music, Blake. Yes. Th- that makes him a star in the music field. If he decides to act tomorrow and he's trash, mm-hmm. is he still a star? I don't know. It depends how, how, how you're going you, you're gonna to ju- judge him. There's a lot of talented people, stars, like musicians, who are trash when it comes to acting. Yeah. There's a so- soccer players who are stars trying to venture into music and they suck. But it still makes him a star in his field. Yes. You can't say, you can't say, you can't say, it's a complicated You can't say, you can't say, you can't say, Jabupuli is not a star anymore because his song sucks. True. You can't say, Deco Muris is not a star anymore because his commentary sucks on super sport. Yeah. Or he's he's a he's a work analyst, mm. you know. It, it it for me it's a very it's a very you know open debate. It's yeah. a big conversation to have in terms of what makes the star. Is it is it the star quality, or is it you becoming a star? Like you can have the qualities to become a star. Yeah, right. You and I, masterclass has the qualities to become something crazy and big. And you can, you can. But when does it become a star? You can, you can master, you can master your craft. That when you get on stage, you transform to something else. You know, Ko is very calm and reserved, off stage. But put him, give him the mic and put him on stage. He becomes somebody else. You know, it's not somebody that you met backstage ten minutes ago. He becomes something else, you know. There, there are people who can who can do that, very reserved. But give him a stage, or a soccer ball in the field, and they show you some shit. They, they show you some shit. Do you For even sure. wonder if it's the same person with acting as well? People who transform into a character. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. So I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. To close this up, I wanted to ask you one more thing about star quality. Uh, who determines? That you're a star. Is it you? Or is it people? It's, 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 it's both. It's both. I can go out and like... Fuck what they're talking about. I'm a star and I know it. Mm, but you're not really a star. If yeah. It's just for you. Yeah. Like you're a no, star no, no, for no, yourself. No. I'm, really. saying, I'm saying... So am I. Wait, But wait, like who wait. gives a fuck? And then people will validate that. Will, will, people will either prove you right or prove you wrong. But it must come from here first. From you. Yeah. I like that. I like what you're saying. So you can see yourself as a star or non-star. 
Yeah. You can see yourself as a piece of shit, but then I can tell you you're a star. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like in your field, I can, I cannot confidently go against soccer players. And like, I'm, 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 I'm a star player. You know, you need to be realistic. Be confident and be sure of yourself in, in your craft and in your lane. And what you're good at. And what you're good at. I I hear you. I also feel like it's... I feel like stardom is, is, is validated through self. Yeah. And then confirmed through others. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, you exactly. feel like you're the shit, my nigga, be the shit. Especially in this hip-hop space. Like, don't let nobody tell you that yeah. you're better than you or whatever. Or you just want to be in this thing. Dog, you're going for number one. Yeah, number one spot. You obviously, be obviously not everyone is going to fuck your shit. You're going to say, I'm the shit. Somebody else is going to say, no, you're not. Fact. But you're going to have like a lot of people saying, you want to be the best. Yeah. And that's all you should be. Star quality comes from within, I think. All right, all right. If you think you're a star, then you're a motherfucking star, my nigga. Nah, Don't let man. nobody tell you nothing. We'll validate the fact that you think you're a star. Facts. Let's get into the free period. Let's get into the free I to, period. I need to cut, gents. I need to pause. Hit the free period, man. Let's get into it, man. Uh, we're looking at today. Uh, we're looking at Bagzito Mobitori. Sure. Big shout out to Bagzito. I know his debut is probably Matuetu, right? Uh, he's on Matuetu. Yeah, he's on Matuetu. Yeah, that was probably where we like first saw the homie. Not me. Oh, what? Yeah. How long you been knowing the team? Yeah, for a while. You used to run with um uh Lolly Natives crew in Pretoria. Yeah, yeah way before the, the acting situation. Oh nice man. Yeah. Big shout out to him. And we dog. had him at some point at the Masterclass Hip Hop Sundays on one of the lineups. Yeah. Yeah, he came to perform there. Doing his thing. He's got a new song. I played the song uh last night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Last night on my show as an exclusive. So big shout out to him. He's been sending me music for a while. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of the niggas that you should know that even if he sends me songs, he doesn't get discouraged by the fact that I don't play it. Yeah. Because it just doesn't work for what we're doing, you know, on the radio. But when he does send a single that works and I can be like, yo, we can play this shit, Bagzito is on. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So big shout out to Bagzito for that track. I think it's called Tlakana. Tlakana. I haven't heard it. I'll check it out. Yeah, brand new, son. Brand yeah, new. Yeah. Top, bra- top today. Ah, oh, no, that's <laughs> you know dope, I mean? that's dope. So big shout out to him, man. Big and today, to today, Squatter Camp album is out. Oh, word? Yeah, probably should review it. Ah, I told you about that shit, though. Yeah, that we'll, we'll check it out on the, next, on the yeah, next episode. Yeah, I told you about this months ago. Yeah, but we'll listen to it and review it um, next episode. Do but, I have to? Yeah? Do I have to? Yeah, you have to. For real? It's not about you, it's about the master class. Yo, I don't want to review that album, but I will for you, students. All right. I'll do it. Shout out to Pagzito, man. He's He's been at it as a rapper and as an actor. He's killing it as an actor, man. Big shout out yeah. to him. And as a rapper. And as a rapper. Does he kick ciphers and shit? Because he's more musical. Like, his music is musical. Like yeah, he's, he's doing music. Does he, have you heard him in a cipher? Does he hold it up? Mm, no. Hey, Pagzito. Show this nigga what you got, <laughs> Rashid, think mm. you can't rap in a cypher. Big shout out to Pagzito, man. Let's get into the producers in the free period. Uh, producers, we have um, Phantom Steez. Oh, yes. Phantom Steez has been doing amazing things, man, when it comes to production. You know, adding that lock drum to hip hop. For sure. You know, and I've been hearing his songs and the songs he produced for other people in the clubs, you know, at parties. His music is like happy music, you I like know, it. that you can vibe to. It's it's more, uh, I like to call him the masked ninja. Because he likes to rock the mask and, you know, you never see his face, whatnot. whatnot. Yeah, yeah. But like what he did as well for, for R.I.P. Costa, man. Phantom Steez was also in the forefront of, you know, working of, with niggas. Of like that co- sound, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, that, what do they call it? Is it quite, quite pop or quite hip hop? What do they call that shit? Them niggas have a, like a word for it. Him, Shampuru. You know, Costa, mm. they have that hip hop slash piano mm. slash house trap slash piano, trap, trap slash piano. Trap piano. Yeah, trap piano. Pause. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, big shout out to him, man. Big shout out to the homie. Um, 
I think he deserves to be shouted out on the masterclass for the free period. Go check out Phantom Steez. Phantom Steez. Works with a lot of young artists as well. So if you're a young, up-and-coming guy, hit him up in the DMs. I think his DMs. I saw, I saw he worked with um, Lizzie. Li- you know what I mean? Well. Yeah. And that's probably a DM situation, you know? Mm. I, I interviewed him also based off hitting up on the DMs. You know that, and I like the fact that that's what's happening now with these young artists, my nigga. Yeah, I don't have to holler at your manager no more. Mm. Like I can hit you in the D's and, and we're all good. Yeah, I was with I was with Lotinova Nova a couple of weeks ago. I like literally just hit him up in the DMs. Yeah, and hit me back. But sometimes managers are difficult. Like I gotta be like, yo, please ask that. Some nigga. some artist Send managers think they stars. I was upset with 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 the. Uh, Jay Marley's people, mm. like these niggas made me cancel other people to get the homie on my show, and then like a week before before we're supposed to have him, can't make it no more. Gotta go to Swaziland, and, and I'm like, though that's that's disrespectful, dog. Well, it's like, some love and hip hop shit. I put in a lot of work into getting people on my show. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so if you're gonna make me run around getting the shit together, and then you don't, you didn't last minute. They don't understand that there's a content plan. It's you, bullshit. You, know, you sit down and, and plan your production, your whole show. For sure. Dog, like, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, this, this year, my show is mainly about the young guns. Because chasing around niggas like Jay Marley is not what I'm about to do no more. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, dude, you, you want to come. To, I, I didn't want to have you on my show. I don't give a fuck. Mm. But I have niggas who want to come through and want to showcase their thing. And, and if I have to cancel them to put you on, only for you to cancel me is like, ah, dog. That shit is not cool, my nigga. So I just feel like we need more professionalism in that free period space. Mm-hmm. You know, with the producers, with the artists, everyone needs to respect what you're doing with what you're doing. Of course. And that's all I feel of about course. that. That's my take on that. I, I agree with you. Let's review uh, an album. EP? EP. EP, Ili Amin. So like, it was like five, six songs? It's Please five, check it out. Please five it out. songs. Five songs. Five songs, no? Mm. Yo, I like Ely, dog. I like Ely from what I heard. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. I I didn't know him till you put me on. Yeah, to be yeah. With you. And Kav. I've been knowing him since way back. He's is from Revivolution. He's a member of Revivolution. You know, Joba Crew. Word. With five six niggas. Word. You know, yeah. When was this? They still around, but now they I think they working. As solo artist, but they the he made some noise. I remember the other time they came to your show, all of them. Word. When it was called, I think with speed style. Something. Oh, word, hip hop flow. Yeah, hip hop flow. I came I, there to rap. All nah, of for me it was the first time really bumping Ilya like that. Like after I heard those six songs. Yeah, yeah. I had to go listen to some other shit that he had dropped years ago, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, this nigga's nice with it, man. It is. It I'm is. not upset with this EP at all. Is this new, like brand new, or the EP? Mm. Yeah, it's brand new. It came out like two weeks ago. How did you find it? Uh, I think um, it's bulk email. I was I was on the emails that they sent. Yeah, and then I checked it out. Okay. Yeah. Word and what do you think? Um, he's a dope rapper. Dope rapper. I don't like I don't like the EP. Okay. Because of the production, it sounds like one long song. That's what you, know? you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah said it, it is. You said that. Yeah, it, it, it. I don't know if I feel the same way, man. I, I still enjoyed it, even though I felt like the mood was kept the same. You know, it might sound like mm. one long song, but the mood. Yeah. The and mood. It, that, that's the only downside to it. Like, the, the production sounding like five songs sounding like one song, one long song. But in terms of raps, delivery, content... He nailed it. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice, Ely, dog. He's also got that, that you know, he's got that feel, man, like I'm a real rapper from the Bronx kind of feel. He is, he's he is, like he, a, he ah. is. He is on that tip because he, he, he started on Scrambles for Money. He was a oh. battle rapper there. Has been on Sotra Cyphers a couple of times. He is the, the, the bars of rapper. You can hear that. Yeah. Especially bars, from this, man. Yeah, if you're looking for some rapper. bars. Yeah. This is one of the albums I'd put up there for you. If you yeah. want to just chill back, smoke a blunt, and listen to someone rapping. Yeah. Bump this. What's the name of the album again? Woolrich Wisdom. And it is. It's all that. Man. Yeah. 
all that and more. Big shout out to Ely. I like the album. Um, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 for an EP5 track. I enjoyed it. Uh, I didn't feel like it was one long song. I just felt like it was just one good story. I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. Got you. Yeah. Hater. Check it out. <laughs> Ely Amin. Woolrich Wisdom. Big shout out to Ely, man. Big shout out to everybody else on the masterclass today. Big shout out to you for plugging in. If you want us to feature you on uh, Free Period, right? No, Get I mean. us up on the comment section with your link for your music, and then we'll come check you out when we're ready to go. Revivolution be the click. The rest can eat a dick. Episode 89. Class as we hatch the past present while we craft a bath from a shared tooth and